You know, guys, things for RCC have been just going great. You guys have been there every single step of the way. Sharing these emotions with you, it's tough. It is. Uh, so, as a little reward for starting RCC, for doing great, as a reward for myself, you know, I needed something we, I can have fun with, with the kids in the summertime, you know. If customers here can kind of spoil the customer, have a little fun on them, give them a ride. Guys, I went out. And I bought a brand new ya um, uh, Yamaha. <laughs> Yamaha. Yamaha. I figured, you know, customers, we could give, we could give customers a ride around on this thing. It would be fun. And I need something. I need something to get around RCC on. I was seriously thinking, and I was like, man, we need something that I could kind of get around the dealership because it's kind of getting big. And I actually had to walk all the way from one side of the dealership to the other. It took me a while, and I was a little bit out of breath. So I was like, you know, it'd be kind of nice having a four-wheeler. You know, customer comes on, wants to buy a truck, he can just hop on the back right here. <laughs> nothing like, you know, nothing like giving a customer around on an ATV around while he's got his legs, you know. it's And then his kids can sit on that side and that side, you know. We can go flying, baby. But no, uh, we don't have... At one point, I do want to get a golf cart. For now, this is going to have to do as my personal utility vehicle for around the dealership. I figured this would work great. So we got kind of a problem, guys, and something I want to address. And first of all, we have a really good problem that I didn't tell you guys about. But man, the Chevys have been selling like crazy. There is not a single Chevy on the lot. It is crazy how many Chevy buyers have came in here and bought those things up. They sell like hotcakes, man. But right now, my single issue with RCC is these trailers are kind of annoying to move around and we're starting to get more we're going to have more coming in we got raptors coming in today we got chevy 1500s coming in today i'm just going to be using trailers all the time and that's one thing customers have been asking for is hey what do you have for trailers available so that's something i need to get my butt on and i need to keep working on but with that being said we also need something to move around these trailers and so what we're going to get is a skid steer baby there's a special mod come out that came out that I'll talk about that is just going to be excellent for these trailers. So, first things first, we're going to go park the Yamaha and then jump in the F450 to go pick up a new skid steer. And it should be backed up to the gooseneck. Don't say it, man. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't have to say it. Don't do it. Forgot to grease my ball. Darn it. So we're hooked up, we're in the F450, we're pulling the big tax, and what I gotta do is decide between a Kubota skid steer and a John Deere skid steer. Now, now on another series, I went with the John Deere skid steer. I love the John Deere skid steer. It actually, in Farming Simulator, it handled a ton better. It did, it just handled better. But I do wanna run the Kubota. Like, I really wanna try out the Kubota, but I'm not sure if the Kubota has the wheeled option. The dealerships that I'm going to, they're going to have a couple available for me to choose from. So I'm going to test them out, do my driving, and we're going to bring one of those back. So what we have to choose from is these. Now, I don't think I'm going to go with Bobcat. I just don't think you guys know I've had issues with Bobcat in the past. I love them, but man, we have had issues with them. So I think what we're going to do is we got a Kubota SVL 95-2S, which is their biggest, which is Kubota's biggest model. I think they make a 95-2, I think they make a 75-2, and now I think they've made a 65-2. I don't know if it comes with wheels in both, I don't know if it comes with tracks. Maybe it does. I think they did make a smaller one that does come with tracks now. Uh, so, Kubota's been really kicking butt in the game. I've, I've watched a lot of skid steer YouTubers, if you want to call them that. They've been kicking butt, man. You know, I was doing some research online, watching some reviews, because I knew I was going to buy a skid steer. And so, we also have a John Deere 33 3G, which I have a little bit of time in the seat, not too much. And then we have a John Deere 33 2G that has tires. Now, tires probably, I'm going to say it, guys, is probably the best option we should be going with. Uh, I don't really think, as much as, basically what we're going to use this for is moving trailers around, just odd jobs, you know, maybe lifting cars, moving cars. I'm trying to think what else we'd use them for. So, I don't know. It's tough. The main focus I'm going to look at as we're testing these is how well do they handle? How well can I control them? That's what I want to look for. Each are, each are probably around the same price point besides the 33 2G is just a little less because you don't have those tracks. Tracks are a little more expensive. So, first on our list is the Kubota to test out. 
I really want to go with the Kubota. I like the looks. It's been a popular item. It seems like a lot of people are going with Kubota. And people have had good luck with them. So, I do want to go with it. So, the test I'm going to put to it is I'm going to kind of pull in here, act like I'm lifting up some of these stuff, just see how fast I can maneuver and how well I feel controlled maneuvering with the skid steer. Now, one thing that the Kubota has is it has a sliding door that goes straight up. So, you don't have to open the door that goes straight out. Like on the John Deere, if you open the door, how the door like slides out like a normal door would, you couldn't be you couldn't get out. Say you were drowning, you put the skid steer in a creek, you're trying to get out, you couldn't, you couldn't, you die, you die in a gosh dang John Deere. The Kubota has it to where you can grab the door and you can slide it open. It slides up on rollers to where the door slides above you, and even if you have the arms like this, you can still jump out and get out of there if you're dying or you tipped over, or just some emergency grandma's cookies are on fire something like that you know okay we're pulling over here we're whipping in quick we're trying to get this okay got it lifted sorry this is kind of weird i'm just like there we go go back over here let's go set it in front of one of these bobcats i know i should probably actually be lifting something but there we go turn around here and say dump it there we go not bad back her up it does feel a little heavy in the back, but that's what I like. She's got a big booty to her, and once we put some front weight on her, I think everything will be evened out, so that's good. It feels like it almost has counterweights in it. Okay, now the 33.3 G Deer. She looks beautiful, but does she act beautiful? I don't know, we'll see how she drives. It's kind of funny how I just assume every piece of equipment is a girl. I always call it a she. I apologize about that, guys. <laughs> That's something I'm just used to saying, like she, she, or the, let's grab this old machine, even though, or let's grab this old pickup truck, even though it's a 2020 F450, you know. I apologize. I know it really makes people mad, and I do apologize about that. Okay, we're pulling over here. Gonna grab this case. Okay, we got the case. Swing over here. Man, it feels a lot more controlled. I feel so much more in control right now. Pull over here, spin around, dump in the bobcat. There we go, dump. Okay, that feels pretty darn good. Now I wonder if there's gonna be a difference. As you can see, we're in the tr we're in the tracked one, which I love the looks of the track. The track's gonna be a lot better for doing dirt work, but I'm questioning, is the wheeled machine gonna be a lot better? Obviously, wheeled machine's gonna be better on cement and stuff, it's just made for it. Tracks aren't fully made for like cement, and stuff it's a lot tougher and rougher on the machine but if we go wheeled does it actually handle differently so we'll hop in the 33 2g jump in her test her out okay so far <laughs> dude just getting in it it felt like a mess there trying to get turned around hold on it feels like i'm kind of floating everywhere yeah yep okay there we go grabbed it I just don't feel as confident. I feel like I'm over overturning. Yeah, pull around here. There we go, dump it. Man. Now the last test I wanna do is loading. Cause man, these skid steers in, farm, in, in real life, you know, it, no, I'm joking. In farm, farming simulator, the skid steers, uh, going up ramps and going up hills, they're just a mess. So I'm curious which one goes up the ramp better. I know this is horrible test and I just got to knock out a couple tests quick. So I want to bring you guys along. Okay, we'll try the 332G machine first. Let's see how this baby goes up the ramp. Now we're just going to crawl up it. I have a feeling this isn't going to do as good as the tracked ones. Yeah, we're doing good. Whoa. Okay. That was solid. That was solid. Nothing to it. She was perfect. Okay, now we're going to try this other deer. The track deer. The 33-3G. See how she does. Solid. Man, that's perfect. Two for two. Okay. Giant big Kubota, you can't let me down. You can't let me down. Here we go. Uh, it does feel a little weird when it's turning, guys. Man, it feels like I'm kind of floating already. Look at that. 
This is gonna be a mess going up here. I can almost guarantee you. Oh. Oh, so this is what I call, this is what I call the skid steer bug, I guess. Sometimes, once you run machines for a while in farm sim, even though it, it sucks, it really sucks getting this, like, bug, some of the skid steers will just get messed up to where they're just, they're just a mess and they're a pain. It's something with farm similar in the game and skid steers. Even the in-game skid steers do the same thing. Well, guys, I made my choice. Now, I hate to do this and put this skid steer in both series, series? But we have the 33.3G, and the reason I went with it, it was it was either going to be the deer wheeled loader, which I thought would probably work better because we're going to be on cement a lot of the time. But the reason I went with the 33.3G is because it seems like when I'm making turns now, you got to you gotta understand I'm using a keyboard. So it's like, it's pretty rough, uh, like making turns and stuff. Not as rough as playing on PS4 or Xbox One, but it's, it's pretty rough. Um, but... The wheeled machine felt like when I made a turn, it just over exaggerated a turn way too much. This one was confident in its turns. When I let go, it stopped. It didn't spin me around too much. It felt a lot smoother. So that's why we went with it. Like seriously, from everything, it's just all about how it how it kind of feels operating. And that's why I went with the 33.3G. You know one thing that would look real nice on this skid steer? Mud flaps. Mud flaps, baby. Some giant mud flaps on the back. Mud flaps make everything look better. The skid steer is going to go up on the ramps. Keep coming, keep coming. We should be good. And it is solid. Now I got to show you guys something. You kind of see it in the bucket right now, wobbling. Oh yeah, check it out. Mud flaps on the trailer. Looks 10 times better. People are going to kill me, but I have no idea where this guy's from. I think he's from Michael Jordan. Like, is it called like All Stars? It's a Looney Tunes. Looney, not, yeah, I think Looney Tunes, like, basketball game thing with Michael Jordan in it. I for, I to, I've seen the movie, like, 50 times, but totally forgot what, what the name of the movie even is. Now, this, this is super important. The skid steer plate with a receiver on, oh, the skid steer plate with a receiver on it. It is super important because that's what's going to allow us to move around any type of trailer. We're even going to be able to move goosenecks. If I can kind of change that around a little bit. We'll be able to move goosenecks, pretty much anything with the skid steer. And that, man, that's going to be awesome. Should I just pull through? Yeah, we'll just pull. Oh, shoot. We may hit that winch. Oh, gosh. She's going to break the glass. Okay, pull to the left of it. Oh, we missed it. Perfect. But anyways, guys. So the guy who made that skid steer plate attachment was... Oh. Fine man, fine young man, known as Buck. Buck made that skid steer plate. Now, this is something I should have been talking about for a while back. But if you guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but the first time I ever brought up Buck's name was in RCC. Buck came out with a Chevy 3500. I'll try to bring up the thumbnail picture or something. I'll probably forget when I'm editing, but... It was a, the ugliest Chevy 3500, which I love them. I love them. I love Chevy 3500s. It was the ugliest Chevy 3500 I have ever seen. This kid put the ugliest rims on this, and it was like it was just a stock lift, no leveling kit, anything. And he had the ugliest rims, which made this truck just absolutely hideous. And during the video or whatever, I gave him the hardest time. I was like, you know, I was like, oh, this is awesome. This is, this is the first guy's time you know modding and stuff but man i'm gonna say uh chandler you really messed up man this looks pretty ugly i was just giving him kind of a hard time you know funny stuff we were never never really serious but my gosh he deserves the modder that came the furthest this year award if that makes sense the mother that modder that has had the best growth this year in their modding skills because this guy he made this or he edited this truck to be amazing He's done so many different mods, made that skid steer plate. Every mod he releases, I see like 300 likes on Facebook. I'm like, my gosh, give it up for Chandler. Holy crap, dude. This guy goes hard. And he started He started on RCC. The first mod I ever got was f f that he made uh, from RCC. And this kid's just, he's going after it, man. Mama, we made it. We got the 33.3G. Man, that is so weird. That is that is so weird saying 33.3G. I got to get that down. Triple threes, triple, uh, come up with something that's faster to say than 33, 3G. I hate that. I hate saying that. We'll call her the deer. In this bucket, this came from machine, I think machine modding made this skid steer. But this bucket, 
This bucket is absolutely amazing because this is identical to John Deere's buckets. We have an exact, I don't know the dimensions on this. We have a 76 inch one in real life. And this is literally the exact bucket. Everything about the shape of the bucket, this is exactly what what it is. And you can I can tell a deer bucket from a cat bucket from a bobcat bucket like 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 that. I just I don't know. I'm addicted to looking at buckets. That sounds so weird. Okay, anyways. Here we go. Let's pack this puppy off. One thing I gotta say about deer's buckets that I hate about our bucket in real life is it's not, if you look at the bottom of this, here let me, it's not it's not completely flat. Like there's this little rivet back here. And then if you have a cutting edge, it's just not flat. So if you're back dragging, it, it just doesn't back drag that well. And when I ran a bobcat, the bobcat bucket is pretty much like flat. It's like got a square, like whatever you want to call it, 90 degree edge and it's flat. And that bobcat bucket, I love that a lot better than deer's buckets. So I'm going to run this bucket probably into the shed. We got to figure out where we're going to store this even. Yeah, I'll run into the shed drop off the bucket, pick up the skid steer, uh, skid steer attachment plate, and then hook up to some trailers. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be cool. So for now, we'll just drop our bucket there. Oh shoot, I gotta get my, uh, I think I could probably lift this. Come on. There we go. Perfect. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the vid, smash that like button. I really appreciate it, everybody that always is just smashing that like button. Thank you. Thank you. I really do. And we'll shut that door. And it, because it definitely helps out the video. And man, you guys just helping out the video like that. It's just, it's awesome. I know we post a ton of videos. So it's it's annoying to smash a like button on every single video. But for those who do, smash that like button on every single video. Thank you. When I was a kid, I was absolutely obsessed with trailers. Trailers in like hitches, you know. I, I was like, I, I didn't fully understand like how they connected until I started look. <laughs> so like, you know, one time when I was a little kid, I, I walked past, sorry for the long stories, but I walked past a, uh, a truck's ball and accidentally smacked my leg on a truck's ball. I was walking across the sidewalk. I was like, huh, oh, what's that? And then, you know, I was just real young and my dad was like, oh, that's how trailers connect to other trailers. I was like, oh, cool. I was like, and then I started like, then I was, there was a pintle hitch. If you guys know what a pintle hitch is, this is kind of one. Uh, I guess you can, yeah, this is one. Uh, but I was like, oh, how does that connect? And then it's like, oh, it hooks around the ball. I see. And then it locks on top of there. And for some reason, as a little kid, I just got, fell in love with like trailers and, <clears throat> and how they connect and how they lock on and how they don't come off the coupler and stuff. It was just, I don't know. It was weird. You know, I was looking at trucks balls all the time. <laughs> <laughs> there's no weird okay there's no you know because you have a, a small ball then you have a big ball big balls for a bigger trailer sorry there's no good way of describing that without sounding really weird i apologize about that my gosh we talk about trailer things all the time okay anyways but yeah it was kind of cool just i don't know learning about it learning like about axles and what trailers could haul i just loved it probably a lot of you guys share that same interest so we're gonna go up here and then I should be able to lift up the trailer like this. And this is how we can move it around. Sweet. Okay. Oh, yes. And heck, actually, yeah, I can put it right there, actually. That'll work good. So the question is, is where do I want my trailers at? I kind of was wanting to put a trailer show up front. So we could kind of show off some of the trailers I was going to sell. But most likely, if you're going to do that, you want them hooked up to the trucks out front. That's one thing we got to do if we do this. This space really doesn't get used, and it could be used to definitely show off some trailers, I feel like. And you know what? I think we could probably put them out on grass. Sounds like I'm putting my cows out on grass, <laughs> the way I said that. But I think we could probably put the trailers out on, on the grass here. And I think it would be kind of look unique. Not everything has to be on cement or gravel, you know? You can definitely, as I'm pulling this, you can definitely feel it tugging. It's like she's tugging back. You can feel... That there is a ton of weight uh, pulling behind this skid steer. So I'm just going to pull it across here. We'll drag this trailer out. And then we'll get, we'll probably get all these trailers just lined up real nice. Look how tight I can turn too. It's like, oh, you screwed up. There you go. <laughs> okay, maybe our grass is a little too long here. You know what? We need a mower for the skid steer is what we need. 
Okay, yeah, this is just gonna look like a jungle of like overgrown grass growing through trailers. This is gonna look horrible. We gotta mow this down. Actually, you know what I think we ought to do is just put gravel down. I literally just said you can't put gravel and cement down and everything, but that's what we gotta do for this situation. Yeah, it's, it's a mess. It'll be a mess with grass there. Okay, now this looks a ton better. Check this out. And there we go. One hooker. Okay, next trailer. That's gonna look, that's actually gonna look really good. That's gonna make RCC look a ton better right there. And the skid steer is a two speed, so she, I don't know, it's, it's pretty nice around here. We can go kind of quick. My gosh, guys, I don't know if we're gonna, even gonna have time to take shipments of the Raptor and the Chevy 1500 coming in. I don't know if we're gonna even gonna get that in today. We're just moving trailers. Okay, so we're gonna slide the bowl up in there and should be able to lift up. Yep, we got some weight on her. Can we even lift this? There we go, yep, we got her. Perfect. You know what? Should we test how much this skid steer can lift? This would really be pushing it. I'm curious, since we bought this skid steer to put it, I, I, I really want to push it to a, towards, towards its max payload. So I'm trying to think, what do we got that's heavy around here? Wait, I got a good idea. So at the moment, I don't have a loading ramp for this Ford. So what I'm gonna do is I'll back this pickup truck up to the back of this trailer, back the pickup truck on the trailer, and it also allows us to test if the skid steer could easily lift that almost basically that pickup truck up while we move the weight to the front. And at the same time, I can unfold these ramps and then drive the pickup truck off with safely getting it off of that flatbed. That's how it could work. And then at the same time, we'll kill one stone with two birds. It'll work out perfect. Okay, there's a little gap, but it should work, right? The only thing is the ball on this truck is hitting the back of that trailer. I think it'll work. Yeah, it'll work. It'll work. Okay, just... Oh, dude, I don't, I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, oh my gosh, this is stupid. This is one of my favorite trucks, too, even though we just got it. Oh, okay. Perfect. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yep. And there we go. Now the question is, skid steer, how much weight can you handle? Oh gosh. The skid steer should be getting bouncy, to be honest. We're really pushing it. Oh, you can see the, like, the trailer starting to sink down in there. It's like the plate just falls off the skid steer. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so you can see we're tipping a little bit. The back end is off the ground, but question is, can we lift this load? Like a piece of cake. Dang. Okay. Can it move it? Okay, we're getting a little heavy moving it. You can see... This is cool, because this is pretty realistic. Besides, honestly, this is a lot of weight, so maybe in real life, I don't know if we'd be able to lift this completely. But this is pretty cool how it's tipping forward, and we're still barely able to move it. I mean, we're able to move it pretty good, but it's cool how it's kind of leaning forward and tipping. This is perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do now is jump in the forward and drive her off. She's down to the safe ground. Check that out. There we go. She looks like a beaut. I guess we got, yeah, we got two Fords up there. Man, I absolutely love that truck. David, I doubt you're watching this, but if you are, if you put your suspension on this truck, that would be absolutely amazing. This truck was really early in FS19 and has a lot of potential. I think a lot of people would love, love an old high boy with great suspension. Whew. Better wheels, even though the wheels, I do like it stock like it is. Skid steer can handle a lot, but can it handle a gosh dang international mini semi, I guess. It's bigger truck. I, I don't know how to describe this. Flatbed truck. I just really want to understand what is it going to take for this skid steer to, to get past its tipping point. So, let's load up a gosh dang international flatbed. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. That's nothing for it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay, we are getting there. We are getting there. This is the tipping point right now. Come on. Let's see if we can move this. Come on, baby dear. You got her. We can lift it. We can go forward, most likely. But I don't think we can go backwards. Holy crap. Come on. Yeah, man. Okay. This is done. This is insane. We're going to wreck somebody. We're going to kill somebody. Yep. Okay, we're going to put her down. See, if this truck was running... I would use this four down 9,000, but she needs some work. Oh, and by the way, we climbed the, we took the Chevy. We had like a little level thing. I was curious to see if we could get up here. This needed work, so I didn't really care about him clashing in the back here. But it, uh, it's kind of cool, actually. She's just riding, you know, right on the mud flaps. <laughs> just like the 5,000 pounds of weight, if that, on, uh, just on the mud flaps. <laughs> just this little thing holding on here. It's so close to burning rubber right there, but she's not. Now this 40 foot Big Tex is a used trailer, but we could, the I mean, trailers hold their value so well, guys. It doesn't have many miles on it, and it's a trailer that's probably gonna still bring us like eight, seven or eight grand at least, I'd say. So we're gonna put this for sale out front here. I'm just, for now, I'm just gonna have to cut across this grass. And there we go, she's unhooked, perfect. Okay, gotta make sure no cars are coming. Yep, we're good. Feels like I'm invincible. Like moving these trailers around, I feel like I could corner a trailer in just any spot. You could be a parking god if you're using a skid steer to park a trailer. Hey, real question. We gotta scale around back. I wonder, how much does this skid steer weigh? Let's go put her on the scale. Put your guesses in. Put your guesses in the comment section. Since Farming Simulator has been pretty darn accurate and the scale's been pretty darn, I was so surprised about how accurate the scale seemed. I mean, obviously there is like a, you know, 20, 25% off for sure, but it was pretty close. It's not like it said 50,000 pounds for a skid steer. So I'm guessing, I'm my guess for this John Deere 33.3G is 11,000 pounds. That's what I guess it would probably weigh, maybe a little bit more in real life. So that's what I'm going to just guess right here on the scale. Okay, 16,000 pounds. At least it's kind of close, you know. I don't think it would weigh 16,000 pounds in real life. Maybe at the max, I could be off, and maybe 14,000 at the max, maybe, I'd guess. That's, I'm pretty impressed. Just for craps and giggles, I'm wondering, uh, wondering how much this weighs. Let's back her off. 246 pounds, dude. That's literally probably what something like that would weigh in real life. That is awesome. Trailer we have for sale. We're going to grab her, lift her up, and... There we go. It's a PJ. I think it. I think we got a 40 foot length on this, but maybe it's a 36 foot. She's a little smaller than Big Tex. Big Tex seems to be built a little better. At least the different trailers does. I'm not saying Big Tex is better than PJ, but uh, this one seems to be not just not as built. I guess. I do got to say this trailer does seem like it. It is pretty darn heavy. She's given the uh, skids here run for her, for her money. You know. Man, look at that beautiful sight. Something about that. This skid steer, man, for aesthetics, like looks, man, you gotta give it a 10 out of 10. And there we are. Trailers are here, and I feel like we need a ton more yet. Because right now, we probably have about, yeah, uh, we have about three trailers. The other one, the gray one, I'm just gonna keep. Uh, for myself, it seems like we do a lot of hauling on that. So this PJ will stay, Big Tex, or PJ will sell, the Big Tex will sell, and then this low trail will sell. And I have a lot more I could buy. Well, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash that like button. And hey, I will see you in the next one. Not sure what we're going to do. We have a couple shipments coming in. And I know we have a customer coming in and trade, trade around a couple trailers. Should be interesting. Thanks for watching, guys.